why is God taking so long? I mean, why? Hello, everybody. Mr. Brown Proclaim Ministries, helping connect faith and life. Let's be real. Have you ever asked that question of God or had that thought like, God, why are you taking so long? It don't take this long to do what you say you go do, especially when it comes to evil. When we look around the world, see so much evil in the world and some things I can't even speak of that are going on in our world today. And not only that, it's becoming mainstream. It's becoming celebrated everywhere you go, whether you're watching television or uh, it seems like the world is upside down. What's right is wrong and wrong is right. And it's been feeling like that for quite a while, right? And you're like, God, well, where, where you at? Why are you taking so long? And so I guess today's thought of the day is what to do when you feel like God is taking too long to do what he's going to do. Like to set things straight, to make things right. It's kind of like we're in this movie, right? You watch movies, and when you watch a movie, there's a bad guy, there's a good guy, there's an evil plot, and it looks like the evil person's winning, right? It looks like they go, they, they just run, run in the day, but you know in the back of your head, okay, this is an hour-long show, about 45 minutes in, things will start to turn, and the good guy go win, right? And sometimes you feel like you're in that show, and... When is the 45 minute mark coming? Like when is when are things going to turn around? Well, today I was reading this this verse and what made me think about this whole idea of soon is in Psalm 37. David writes um, and the sub caption here says he will not forsake his saints. But look what it says. Psalm 37, starting in verse one. Fret not yourselves because of evildoers. Be not envious of wrongdoers, for they will soon fade like the grass and wither like the green herb. When I read verse two, for they will soon, soon, how soon? Like, it doesn't feel like it's coming very soon. And I'm just being honest that I can feel that way because I want things to be done right. I want justice for everybody else. And I want things to be done right, except my own sin. I don't want God to judge my sin. But <laughs> seriously, we I want things to be made right. And, and when you hear the evil is going on in the world, it just breaks your heart. You want things to change, right? But verse three, trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and befriend faithfulness. Delight yourselves in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will act. He will bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourselves over the one who prospers in his way, over the one, over the man who carries out evil devices. So there's a lot in this passage, and it really, as I begin to read it, just reminded me to wait patiently on the Lord. Why is God taking so long? I don't know, but ultimately it's for his glory and our good. Kind of like uh, I heard a sermon years ago about Lazarus. He loved me enough to be late was the title of of the sermon and the idea that God could have came and rescued or taken before Lazarus died, but he had a bigger plan in place. He had a bigger ideas. And sometimes what I see and what I don't understand is that God is at work. I don't always see the things God is doing in the background and it can become frustrating to say, Hey God, when you go show up, but God is already there. God is, um, he, he's, he's eternal. Therefore he's, he's, he's not bound by time and space. And he works well. He's already there in the future. He's already got it taken care of. I just have to wait patiently for him and trust in the Lord and do good to be about what God has called me to be about and not worry about what God is going to do, what God's going to do, because God's got his thing. And I need to focus on what mine is. What is mine to do? It is trust in the Lord and do good. Um, so if you're struggling with, you know, what to do or why is God takes long, I don't know what God is doing. I know God is up to his glory, bring himself glory, and it's going to work out for our good. But in the meantime, I need not fret over evildoers, not, not, not be envious of their ways, because guess what? Their time will come and I need to be faithful of what God has called me to be faithful. He said, befriend faithfulness, be faithful, trust in the Lord and do good. Wait patiently on him because God keeps all of his promises. God is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. God is faithful. Trust him. Take a deep breath and say, God, you got this and you got me. So how long, however long you want to take because you're God and I'm not.
That's today's Thought of the Day. Thank you.